Hi everyone, welcome to your 26th basic of JavaScript tutorial. And in this one, we're going to discuss map for arrays, a map function for arrays. There's something known as map, which is different in JavaScript. We're going to come to that in intermediate section, maybe. So, um, what we have in here is first of all, let's just create an array. So, we have this array, right? Now, based on this array itself, what we can do is create another array, array 2 which would be actually based on this array but a little different right so what i'm going to do is say array dot map and map takes a function right and i think i've not gone into um the arrow functions but what essentially they are i can just cover them quickly here so i'm going to cover them again later on in the next video but let's let me just cover it here so you have a typical function like function by function like this you can create a similar function by saying let my function is an arrow function something like this right so what you have is a variable which is assigned this function right here so arrow function takes all these parameters in this parentheses similar to this and then the definition starts from this equal to and then the symbol the greater than symbol and then the block of the function right just remember this is an alternative to this one although there are a lot of differences right but we're not going to cover them right now so i'm going to say array dot map is uh, i'm going to get an element here and then what i'm going to do with this element is say i'm going to return element times two and i'm going to console.log array two Hit save you see now what we get in here is a new array with all the values being doubled 2 4 6 8 10 12 our original array was 1 2 3 4 5 6 new array is 2 4 6 4 2 4 6 8 10 12 right so what happens is that map gives you a new array based on the old array of which you can parse element by element so if i return let's say zero here you can see our new array consists of all zeros because that's what uh, we instructed it to do, right? So this was the map utility, a map function on array, and uh, that's pretty much it for this. And uh, I'll see you then in the next video.